Hey everyone, it's Daryl from Kamala Tech here. I'd like to talk to you about how to use e electronic signatures inside Kamala Document Control for Confluence Cloud. We'll first look at how you electronically sign documents. So I'll show you how to enforce electronic signatures on the approval process that you create. So some teams require a more formal approval for their Confluence content. And a commonly accepted standard is an electronic signature. Confluence doesn't offer a native signing functionality, but an approval process built in Kamala Document Control can meet most teams' needs. Most digital signing standards require a person to verify their approval with two unique pieces of identification. Kamala Document Control utilizes the approver's email address, along with a unique one-time password to sign off on document. Let's walk through the process of configuring electronic signatures and electronically signing a page. The first time you sign in or sign to an approval with an electronic signature, you'll need to set up a personal code, which you start by clicking on the blue link on the dialog box. The setup requires two steps. First, you'll need to set up a device like a smartphone with a two-factor authentication app. There are many available, uh, some examples are uh, the Authy, Google Authenticator, or even one password. Once the app is installed on your smart, dev smart device, you can proceed to step two, where you'll need to enter an email address you use for the Confluence account. And I'll set that up by simply clicking on the email. I'll send off the um, the email to my email to get validated. I'll receive an email in my email um, token uh, with, with a token that I can um, validate. So I'll uh, open the link. In this case, I'll just simply copy it, paste it in, and it'll let me validate the the token. In order to validate this, I'll just need to take my, uh, my, my smartphone or smart device and uh, scan the barcode. Simply scan the barcode with your smart device and you'll uh, now have the uh, Authenticator app applied with Kamala Document Control. I'll simply just need to add my new token in that I received with the Auth app and validate the two. It's now validated and I can see that by the signing token setup is complete. And I can go back to my approval, do a quick refresh on the page. And if I click on draft, I'll now have the ability to enter my email address that I used to sign up the e-signature feature with. And this is typically your um, email in Confluence. And then you'll just type in the current valid um, token. Oops, that could be my number. And click on in approval. Once that's complete, you'll see the state uh, or the approval approve. You'll be moved along to the next uh, state for the next approval. And you can, once you can approve the, in my case, it's the same user. In, your, in yours, it will definitely be a different user uh, or maybe the same, but uh, you will then just type in the email address for that next approver and type in the according token for that user as well and click on approve. Once done, the approval is complete in my, in, by using the QMS workflow. And um, I can take a look at the activity report for the um, QMS workflow and see the uh, process and the signature process through that workflow. And folks, that's how easy it was to set up the electronic signatures in Confluence um, Cloud with Kamala Document Control. If you need more help, be sure to visit wiki.kamalatech.com. Uh, you can also try 
um, come on, Document Control for Confluence Cloud for free for up to 30 days by just visiting the Elastic Marketplace and and trying uh, trying the app for free. I hope you found this rewarding. Stay safe and thanks for watching. Bye for now.